to make sure that uh, Germany has the clear concept of the climate change and the global warming. Because until and unless we don't have the clear concept what is the global warming, what is the climate change, so we cannot uh, do anything. So uh, as a professor, uh, I know that there is a misconception among the people that climate change and global warming is the same thing. This is a very uh, alarming situation, particularly in our youngsters, when they will uh, tell, okay, yes, uh, climate change is due to global warming, and global warming is due to climate change. This is a big question. And uh, so, uh, today's talk uh, is uh, about uh, this uh, theme. So, I will start from the scratch and then uh, uh, one of uh, my colleague, uh, Professor Dr. Abdul Qadir, later on, he will uh, give uh, practical examples uh, about the climate change of the biodiversity. In fact, but I will uh, just uh, make the state for the understanding of uh, climate change, weather, and why what are the impacts and mitigation and adaptation procedures of the climate change and global warming. So first of all, we should know that weather and climate are not the same thing. And weather is what's happening outside right now. If you will see outside your window, then you will see, oh, it's a cloudy weather, it's a shining weather, it's a sunny. So this is the weather. So weather is a short term in a limited area and weather can change rapidly. And it is difficult to predict, particularly if you will be in uh, London or you will be in Murray. So with the sunshine, even after 30 minutes, uh, there was raining. And the climate is the average of many years of the weather's observations. So, Climate is a long-term process. It spread in wide areas, seasonal changes, and it's measured a long span of long times. So therefore, weather and climate, so I believe these are uh, two things, and climate change is due to the long-term changes process of the weather. And how it affects our earth. So the earth is surrounded by a thin layer of the gases, which we call the greenhouse gases. And these gases are what make up our atmosphere. So there are atmosphere, stratosphere, and uh, other layers around the earth. But the gases which entrap in atmosphere these are the greenhouse gases, and these greenhouse gases has two effects. They have also good effects, and they have also bad effects. But excessive everything is a bad. So that's why our earth is warmer due to these greenhouse gases. If these greenhouse gases are not interact, so we have always a cold weather all over the earth. But if the greenhouse gases will exceed the limit, then it is very dangerous. And that's why it's very warm and hot, and particularly in the area. And nowadays, we are facing these things. And that's why IPCC, in the report, they mentioned that the temperature of the Earth should be the average temperature of and then there is a one more thing which I will emphasize that is the average. So every temperature of the earth should be less than, uh, should not increase uh, 1.5 degrees centigrade until, uh, and that's why we all are uh, giving awareness, the governments and uh, uh, the people, they all are, uh, uh, the media, they all are trying to give the awareness people that we, how we can reduce the temperature, how we can maintain the temperature. So, 
Uh, in this slide, you can see the global warming is the increase of the Earth's average surface temperature due to buildup of the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. And the climate change, the long-term changes in climate, including average temperature and precipitation. So it recognized that although the average surface temperature may increase, the regional or the local temperature may decrease or remain constant. And that's why, uh, if you will uh, listen to people, they said, oh, no, no, climate change is not real. It's just a fake. The scientists, they are just uh, making uh, this excuse and they are uh, uh, making money all over the world. And climate change is just fake. Like, uh, the Indian uh, Prime Minister Modi, he said, no, there is no climate change in the world. So this is a misconception. Because the thing is, as I mentioned, the climate change is the average temperature all over the Earth and the precipitation. But maybe in Pakistan, the temperature remains same for the uh, last uh, 50 years. But if you will see, the average temperature of the Earth, not only the Pakistan, these are regional things. And that's why the countries who are get not affected by this temperature, they said, oh, uh, there is no climate change. But unfortunately, we already have a severe floods, and that is due to the climate change. And that's why we all are facing that all oh, climate change is a real thing. So this is a, a, just a, a thing that the climate is the average weather condition over time and the global warming refers to an increase in the Earth's average temperature. So this is a very, uh, I want to emphasize from this point for our youngsters that when somebody said, okay, because one of the guys uh, who has the argument with me that, okay, I'm 80 years old, so mm, there is no increase or decrease because sometime in some years temperature high and other years temperature low. So there is no climate change. But he's just talking about the regional and local temperature. But the climate change is not the regional or local temperature, it is the every temperature of the whole earth. That's why uh, we are facing the problems. Anyway, so as I mentioned, uh, uh, there are, uh, we are lucky that we are living on the earth, that uh, Proclos every temperature is minus uh, 2.3 degrees centigrade. That's why I will not possible in that areas. So I will not go in detail of uh, this, the greenhouse effects, everybody knows that I uh, already uh, mentioned. But the uh, only thing, uh, uh, how this global warming works, this is very important because we are uh, getting the uh, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, noxious oxygen, in the air, and uh, these are all due to the burning of the fossil fuels. And these fossil fuels are in the form of coal, oil, natural gas, or uh, uh, other things, because uh, whatever uh, we will burn, it affects our atmosphere. And due to this uh, carbon dioxide, these are some the sources of the carbon dioxide, and due to this, the temperature is increasing. And these are these uh, many factors, aquatic factors and biotic factors, like uh, latitude, altitude, ocean currents, the topography, solar radiation, and volcanic activities. There are natural process also which uh, contributed in the increase of the temperature as well as the human activities. And that, uh, uh, and the other thing is, uh, sometimes we said, okay, if we have 
as I mentioned, accessible everything is bad. We need these gases in our atmosphere. We need the carbon dioxide, we need the nitrogen, we need the oxygen, but in a certain limits. And that's why we have the quality standard and these limits there. Uh, due to human uh, enhancement of greenhouse effect and due to natural greenhouse effects. So this map shows the five years average variation of the global surface temperature from 1884 to 2012. So the dark blue indicate the area areas cooler than average and the uh, red indicate the warmer than the average and the other is uh, the average temperature of the globe and you will see that there is a very uh, little areas which is uh, red and the blue other earth is fortunately right now is in everything, but if the temperature will rise with these rates, then in 2050, 2075, then it will be a, a great uh, disaster for the uh, globe. And uh, I will show you in the other slides that uh, there is uh, some simulation. Uh, if uh, temperature will rise 1.5, 2 degree, and up to 4 degree centigrade of the world, then what will be happen to our group? So what proof do we have that there is a climate change, the rising of the sea levels, and that's why we have the low lying uh, areas, and the low sea level, the countries which are in a dangerous position right now. And maybe in the end, at the time, then I will show you some of the uh, cities which will be in uh, vulnerable positions all over the world. So this is the temperature and the carbon dioxide data. Uh, uh, this is the, the source is the NASA. Uh, so you can see the average temperature, the global temperature from 1888 to 2020 uh, is increasing. And uh, the carbon dioxide data, it is also uh, increasing. The current is what temperature? 1886 to 2020. Yes, 1886 is minus 2 degrees centigrade. So later is about uh, 2 degree, minus 2 say we started here 1880 mein. Thik hai ji? Or is waqt 8 degree centigrade par chala gaya. Thik hai? So ye... Sea level ki tree rise hai. Sea level le aapna jo hai, wo har ini ke inder different hai, lekin averagely aapko mein this slides ko jo hi show ho. So ye wo data hai, jisse hume Proof that climate change is a real thing. And the other thing is, so in this uh, slide you can see, uh, this is the glaciers are the melting. So the ice caps of both North and South Pole, South Pole. So this is the uh, picture of uh, 1914. And this is the picture of 2004. The same area, Alaska, you can see, it was uh, uh, snow covered by the snow, the glacier, but now it's a lake. So this shows the uh, uh, increase in temperature in this picture. And this is the global sea level rise. So you can see uh, 3.16 millimeter per year it is the rate of change of sea level rise according to the NASA climate and and, and uh, other graph shows from 1870 to 1995 the rate of change is 1.7 millimeter per year so you can see if uh, 
display will continue and uh, unfortunately from uh, late 90s up to now is a drastic increase. So why is the climate change happening? This is the other thing as I already mentioned that the pollution from uh, this man-made activities also affect the climate change system, human influence on the climate system, clear causes of the climate, these are the major causes, volcanic eruption, uh, then human causes, deforestation, overpopulation, fossil fuel burning, greenhouse gases, increase in temperature, and this is a cumulative risk of 1.5 degree centigrade temperature if of the world, then the situation is you can see. Heat wave exposure, 3960 millions of people will affect. So water stress, 33,000, uh, 3340 million of the people will affect. So the climate change and the Pakistan, the floods, more than only solution to flood disasters, export sets, accused official is given promotions, UN stand ready to help flood hit Pakistan, India. So you can see there's a lot of uh, uh, things which are happening and uh, all these things are uh, in Pakistan and the world is aware from this. In on you know, one side we have flood and the other side we have the uh, drought situation. So drought hits in Cholistan. Over six lakh people in Sri Lanka hit by the worst drought in a decade. So these are the severe and moderate uh, area of the drought area. So you can see in one area we have uh, uh, floods, large water and other area we, have, we don't have any water. So this is the uh, things which is a large situation. So the Karachi heat wave spills thousands. Uh, Pakistan has temperature and uh, there will be a uh, unparalleled. Anyway, so these are some of the uh, things. So this is the sea level situation in Pakistan. So the Pakistan rising sea level, its impact on the Pakistan sea level rising in coastal areas and uh, in Karachi, the heroin is a fast destroying the mangrove ecosystem in Kati So even you can see uh, recent sea level rise, 23 annual tides gauge recorded the three years average and from uh, 1880 up to 2020. So this blue, uh, black is the average line of this uh, graph, but you can see the peaks. In some time, the peaks are very high, up to uh, 30 centimeter. So this is a large situation in Pakistan. Uh, rising sea level resulting in the extension of the coastal area, particular. So these are the extreme events by the climate change, which shows that if uh, this uh, thing will, we will not take, take care of this climate change and the rising of temperature, then we have the severe effects of all these uh, things like the droughts. So these are some of the pictures which I'm just showing you. These are the floods. You can see these are the forest fires. And this is also due to the climate change. Every month, uh, there will be the news in the uh, TV channels that there will be a, uh, fires due to rising temperature. So these are the cyclonic hurricane and this all affects. Then there will be a, uh, short landslides and extreme events by this climate change which affects all areas. So what we should do? There should be some action plans. And these uh, action plans in this, there are, these are some of the key sectors where we have to work 
like disaster risk reduction, water, forestry, health. So from this and awareness is another thing. So there are uh, the mitigation of the actions taken to cut net emission of greenhouse gases, to reduce the climate change and to preserve the enhanced greenhouse gas sinks and reservoirs. And the adaptation procedure is the action taken to help of changing climate conditions and impacts. So I will just uh, conclude and then uh, I will just show you because I have uh, five minutes. So then I will uh, show you some of the pictures due to sea level rise. If the sea level rise, then what will be happen in these cities of the world? So the climate change is happening and the impacts are impacts uh, are the urgent and systematic and transformation actions we have. The UN Framework Convention on Climate Change gave discussion like climate change, adaptation, mitigation, finance, technology, and capacity building. And the city's urbanization are the driver for what also for actions for the uh, climate change. Okay, I will just uh, know. So, this is the answer to your question, sir. Uh, the first uh, graph on the upper, it shows the annual mean temperature change. That is a one at one degree centigrade global warming. So if you will see the top graph on the slides, so this will be the situation of the world. And the annual mean temperature relative to 1850 to 1900. So, if the temperature will rise 1.5 degrees centigrade, then the situation you can see uh, on the screen uh, on your right the first graph. If the temperature will increase 2 degrees centigrade, then you can see the red spots are increasing. And unfortunately, if you we don't uh, take care, we will not take care of our earth if the temperature, global every temperature will be increased 4 degrees centigrade, then that will be the situation here and that is a uh, uh, change in uh, 8 degree, uh, 4 to uh, 5 degrees centigrade and this is the situation and that is the data from the IPCC 2021 year. On the other hand, that is the precipitation situation. As uh, our last presenter, uh, I just uh, saw two, three slides that there will be uh, super floods in future if we didn't uh, take care of uh, uh, this temperature. If the temperature will rise 4 degrees centigrade, so there will be a super flood because melting of the glaciers, you cannot uh, stop that. And uh, this is the nature of disaster, climate change, social economic consequences we will face if we didn't take care. And this is the data of the global death from natural disasters from 1978 to 2020. So this is uh, some of the effects on our agriculture, then there will be uh, food uh, security. So this is uh, some of the figures which I will just show you that climate change and its uh, impact on sea level rise. In 2005, 3.9 million people in Southeast Asia region exposed to flooding caused by sea level rise and strong surges. And it is estimated if uh, this rain will continue, then 2070, 3.9 million, so 28 million people can be affected by the projection of 50 centimeter sea level rise. Only 50 centimeter the sea level rise will be 28 million people in only in South Asia can be affected. So, deserts, 
Thank you. 